A very good morning. Welcome to Daybreak Australia. I'm Heidi Stroud-Watts in Sydney. Yeah, Sherry, that really is the sort of equation that a lot of investors are looking at. You have recession concerns, possibly still a hawkish Fed on the one, because moderating price pressures, as you mentioned, even at the expense of a deteriorating economic outlook. In terms of what else we're watching today in the session, it still is that focus on the Japanese yen for us today. We have the second quarter PBO, uh, rather Tankan survey due out, and essentially the headline from that. The other headline for us to watch in the session today was that quarterly monetary policy support. Uh, economic report that came out late Friday and essentially the PBOC we understand vowing to further and Bell, of course, one of the key themes will really be what next when it comes to bond yield moves, right? The okay, Disney... And, of course, the U.S. jobs report. And, of course, the Tonkin survey, uh, which talks to large manufacturing firms, large services firms, small firms... You know... This is gorgeous. Got a home project? Get started at Angie.com today. Easy money in the markets. Uh, with the rapid inflation that we've seen in the economy, the Fed, and, and they've, they've said as much even this week, the Fed is very much uh, of the opinion that it needs to raise rates to battle inflation. And they are diversify the supply chain for those are key components, particularly when it comes to the high tech and depression. Right now from the first quarter. Let's talk about large manufacturing outlook also. A little bit easier. Meet True Earth, the better way to do your laundry. It's something about having that piece of paper. Some people would think. Tuesday, the 11th of July. Little bit comes into European equities today, but as you can see... ...is on in Europe. This is Bloomberg Markets European Close with Guy Johnson and Alex Steele. Yes, you get down to that level, you get quite a sharp bounce off it. We're not getting a sharp bounce today, but we are tracking a little bit higher. I think there's a really interesting kind of macro signal coming out of a number of European stocks today. LVM